Mouthy crowd tonight here at Daddy Dirk's Zombie Dad. We have a great show lined up for you tonight. We have the father of Target Field and County Commissioner, Mike Obat. And our very delectable uh, musical guest is Hastings 3000. And now the man that I sincerely hope I get to cuddle with on this cold night, Mr. Ian Ray! Thanks so much for coming down or being pussies and watching at home. <laughs> oh, thank you, Neil. Very welcome. Yeah, we see how this is going. All right, uh, welcome down, everybody. This is another uh, fun live edition of Drink with Ian here at Donnie Dirk's Zombie Den in fashionable North Minneapolis. How you doing? <laughs> Me too, and damn, do we have a hell of a show for you. But before we get to all that, let's start with a hell of a man, Mr. Neil Schultz. The Sean Tour of Drinking with Ian. <laughs> yeah, it's going around. Uh, hey, enough of this. It's time for the uh, bartender of the stars, the one and only, making us the shot of the night, Mr. Ollie Stitch. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? That's what I like to hear. Tonight's shot. Is, is very special and near and dear to my heart. heart. You've all heard of the uh, very generic rum and coke. Go! But how many of you have ever heard, let alone tasted, a coke and rum? rum. To make a coke and rum, rum. you take a shot, shot. of coke. coke. You take a shot, shot. of rum. rum. <laughs> Add a little ice. Ice. Shake it up. Oh. You gotta shake it well. I'm not Ollie. You strain it. Yes. And for the lovely crowds here at Donnie Dirk's Coke and Rum shot. The Coke and Rum, everybody! Yeah. All right, everybody, put them in the air. And we're gonna, we're gonna drink them like we just don't care. Even the cameraman behind me, I saw you grab yours. This is a professional operation we've got here. Everybody on three. One, two, three, salute. Ah, uh, that really kind of cleans out the nasal passages right there. Ollie, thanks. A round of applause for the bartender of the stars, Ollie Stitch. <laughs> Now here at Drinking With Ian, we have many kinds of guests. We've got uh, drunk guests that you haven't heard of. Um, well, we have one kind of guest, but tonight we're doing something special. This guest, uh, he has managed to mold and make Minneapolis into something great, which I think is totally awesome, and you're about to as well. And he also has the longest title of anybody we've ever had. He's the chairman of the Hennepin County Board of Commissioners and the father of the Target Center. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, or the booth, if you will, Mike Opat. There you go, how are you doing? Good, good. Thanks for having me. Nice to have, I see that you're short of beer. Do you need a beer? I got that one, one right that here. That one's mine. Right. That, that, one, that's that one's mine. All right. You're obviously in government. You're, Just you're take right. it as what's mine. I see how it is. Lightsaber. Hey, everybody. Right. So um, here, yeah, let's see. Haiku Jim, here we go. Oh, we're we're you, anointing you, you of a premium. Right. Here, congratulations. Thanks yeah, for coming thanks. down, Mike. Thanks. I'm guessing you don't have a re-election coming up anytime soon. I uh, just got re-elected, so that's why Yeah, so screw it. You yeah. can coast for a while, man. Yeah. Um, so let's start at the beginning. What got you started in politics? Uh, I needed a different job. Okay. Actually, I was working. I was working in jail. You were working. The, you were working, working in, in jail. jail. I was working, Not working on, from I, jail. I was That's on the right else. side of the bars. Okay. Let's get that straight. And uh, no, I had, I had I had followed government. I had gone to grad school and studied a little bit, and I wanted to try to make a difference, as corny as that might sound. So I ran in way back in 1992 and won. Wow. And and what did you what did you start at? What did you run for first? I ran for this office. So, so you just you just said screw it. Why bother climbing the ladder? I'm going for it right now. 
Actually, I figured it'd be take one shot at it. If it doesn't work, uh, that's uh, that's what we're gonna we'll take one shot at, and we did, and it was it was a lot of fun. And so, what does? And I have to write this down because I'm yeah. not that smart. The chairman of the Hennepin County Board of Commissioners. What does he do? Well, the, the chairman is one of seven. There are seven okay. commissioners in Hennepin County, and Hennepin is Minneapolis and 45 other cities. Oh, geez, okay. and, uh, and a township and a territory, Fort Snelling being the territory. Mm -hmm. And uh, we run the library system throughout the county. We handle county roads. We run four correctional institutions. We collect all the taxes. That Jeez. makes us wildly popular. Yeah, I'd imagine national. so. Yeah. And uh, the property taxes, that is. And, uh, and we handle a lot of human service issues and, um, and also... Uh, uh, work on special projects like Target Field. Yeah, now, 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 now we're going to get back to Target Field in a, in a couple seconds. And tonight, right. actually, you spend more time on public access than I do. You just were on uh, like a couple hours ago, right? You no, know, we were on twice today, actually. It's it just a, 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 triple, a triple play day for yeah. me. We You're had the, a uh, hat trick. It's, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> so the poor Channel 6 viewers are, uh, are sick of me today. They, we had a, a board meeting this afternoon, and then we had a public hearing tonight on property taxes. So okay. we, we're not a lot of more happy customers for you, Ian, okay, than yeah, they were yeah. for me. This Did tonight, you put a so. plug in for us? Did anybody you know, get I, the word I, out for I, us? I, I, they didn't look like they were really ready to hear that message. Oh, I see. That's exactly but, you know, what we need. Well, we needed the, actually, we needed the booze at the yeah. meeting tonight, so that would have helped. <laughs> there you go there. And so you mentioned you just got reelected. How was the reelection process for you? It, uh, it's always a little... Because this you was worry a tough about year. It, it, tough it was year. a tough year for folks. On our, our jobs, uh, we're saying no to a lot of people these days. Yeah. So uh, they're not real popular jobs. We, had some, we all had some opposition, the four of us that were up. We all won, and then that's a good thing. And so we, we move on. But the campaigns are, are uh, they're, they're part agonizing, part annoying, part um, very time consuming, no yeah. matter if there's anybody there. Because no matter how weak the opponent or strong the opponent, you're still going to have to spend some time to get your message out yeah. and, and have people vote. Wow. Okay, but it worked out for you, all right? It worked out. And yeah. how much money are you guys in charge of? You mentioned you get all the property taxes. Well, our, our, our billion or our, our budget this year for next year will be about $1.7 billion. Damn. So, yeah, about seven, and, almost $700 million of that is property taxes, and the rest comes from a variety of sources. And how much do you have to take before they notice? <laughs> I mean, because honestly, like, I worked at a Kinko's for a while. There's like $200 in the till. 20 bucks, they had no damn idea. When you got like almost yeah. 2 billion, oh man, forget about it. You know, pizza's yeah. on me. We are, uh, we're a lot like Kinko's. Yeah, okay. No, we're not so much no, like no, Kinko's. Okay. So that's, uh, I'm going to let that one go. Yeah, yeah we'll leave that one alone. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling this is going to be entered in evidence at some point? Yeah. Um, <laughs> So um, now I find it hard uh, to get served in this town, but you actually managed to get a couple major pieces of legislation across. And unlike you know some legislation, this actually affected people. As I said in the intro and a little while ago, you were instrumental in making Target Field happen. How the hell did you pull that off? It was a long haul. I'll yeah. tell you that it was. Well, how uh, long does something like that take from going like I got this idea to actually you know throwing out a pitch? Well, for us, for our involvement, the county involvement, it had been tried a bunch of times by the twins in the city cities actually St. Paul took yeah. a shot at it a couple times and so did Minneapolis. I think we were at it for three and a half years, four years mm -hmm. and, and then the construction season. So I guess it's probably six or seven by the time it all got done. So and, then, and what kind of hurdles do you come across doing this? Well, how do you, there's first a, off, what's step one of getting a damn ball? Because uh, yeah. you know, how much public money are we spending here? What the hell camera was that? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I'm watching over your shoulder. Right, yeah. I'm watching the show. It's just that damn good. I can't even watch it. Um, <laughs> I'm used to it. Yeah, but I mean, so like, how do you go from I got an idea well, yeah, to... Here's what you start with. Yeah, there's seven commissioners and you need four to do anything. Okay. So the, so the first thing is you got to find four on your board. And that's all we ever found for this one was four. Really? All the votes were four or three. So it was, it was a thin margin. And then... The county, we just can't invent things to do. We have to go to the state legislature and get permission to do things. So that was that was the longest part of it. Because at the legislature, you wander over to the Capitol, and you're literally wandering for quite a while yeah. in front of various committees and trying to figure out uh, a lot of people with a lot of questions, and you try to answer them all, and you, ch you have to change your plan a few times. And so that's the biggest part of it. And we needed approval for a, a 0.15 percent, three cents on twenty dollars sales tax to fund the public part. Of it. Okay, and that that's where what's that, at the where, time. And, and where does that get pulled from? Is that statewide? Uh, any, no, that's that's sales tax money in Hennepin County. In if you Hennepin buy County. something that sales that has a sales tax in the county, you're paying three cents of every twenty bucks is going to go toward the ballpark. And yet they're called the Minnesota Twins. What the they hell? are? Well, yeah. you know what? Uh, we make a lot of sausage in public uh, yeah. in, in, in public bus. So. It, we did the best deal we could at the time. No, I understand. The folks yeah. out in the, the outstate area didn't want to pay, and uh, and and that's when they become so the Minneapolis Twins. Well, they really? call them the Hennepin County Twins. Oh, the Hennepin County had, Twins. We actually Not yeah. quite the ring, but yeah, okay. Yeah. 
Now, and what did you, and so from uh, the start point to when you yep. knew it was going to happen, how much time we got there? That's probably three years. And what was the feeling like for you the second you realized this is actually going to happen? Terror. <laughs> Terror was one, yeah. Uh, that was part of it. I think um, it was relief, more relief than anything else. I didn't, I was, but to be honest with you, it was about 3 a.m. on one of the last nights in session in 2006, and uh, I was asleep when they took the vote, I think, uh, while the Senate was taking the final vote and then wandered around in a little bit of a stupor and was happy to get home and go to bed. To yeah, I imagine. So, but after, after that, it was, uh, it was fun to start to plan it and, and see that, that ugly parking lot that was down there yeah, the transformed over yeah. time and, and into some, such a spectacular field. So I don't, I, any of the folks here get the target field this summer? Yeah, who's been down there? It's a beautiful park. I mean, and, and I don't know if I'm saying that because I've been to, tar uh, to the Metrodome. Or not? It's just a beautiful <laughs> damn place. Probably both. I yeah, think. yeah. yeah. It's, it's, Relatively it's, speaking, it's, it, it's awe-inspiring. It, but yeah, it, I mean, uh, it, on a national level, I, it's still nothing to sneeze at. Well, at the national level, actually, it was rated by ESPN Magazine the best sports venue in America for any sport. So, uh, we're, uh, and we're proud not of only did you make this happen, uh, you threw out the well, first pitch, right? I threw out one of them, and I was, I, we got to be clear, it takes four to do anything, so I don't get all the credit. <laughs> I, got, I took a, most of the blame, and I'm getting more credit than I deserve, but it's, uh, yeah, I threw out one, one of the first three pitches, and, you know, I'm just thrilled it made it to the, uh, it yeah, made it to I mean, home plate. I mean, because throwing a without, ball is uh -huh. easy. Having however, how many people can, how many people can fit uh, there? 40,000. Having 40,000 people staring at you, that's just spooky. Well, and the other, the other part of, of my particular problem is the kind of guys I hang around with, the kind of people I, they, they, if that thing one hops to the catcher, I hear about that for the rest of my yeah, life. Yeah, so no, there I was a little, so. there was a little tension there, that first pitch. Yeah, now, um, now, what else do we have in the, because this is a big deal. This is, I mean, seriously, you will be remembered for this, but you're still a young guy. How old are you? I'm 49. I'm 49? Not Jeez, there's so. pressure on me, man. <laughs> I'm like 15 years younger. I'm, this is about as good as I got, man. Um, you're doing fine. What other public works do we have coming down the pipeline? Well, we're, there's a lot of transit projects. The county was instrumental in Hi the Hiawatha LRT line. So yeah. there we go. A little hoots for that. We can't yeah. for that. If you live in the southwest part of Hennepin County, we're, gonna, we're planning a line to go southwest out through Eden Prairie, Minnetonka, the southwest corridor. We're planning okay. another one to go northwest through Brooklyn Park, my part of the world. Yeah. And then at the central corridor to St. Paul is going to happen. And that's going and down that's, university, right? Down university. Right. And I mean, and up and above money, what are pe what hurdles are people throwing at you? Because I mean, I understand, you know, you don't want yeah. private uh, citizens going for a public bench. That stuff I understand. But I mean, or, why would you ever have a problem with putting a train or putting something going down university? Because there's nothing happening on university. Well, that depends who you ask. Yeah, and there's a few people that think there's a lot, there's there's things happening there. You know what? What kind of what do we hear from people? Yeah, I mean, hear, like what, kind of, what kind of hurdles do you come across? Here? Oh, with, with that, with, with something like a rail project, it's always well, how much noise is there going to be? How, much, how often will the trains come? Where are the stops yeah. going to be? What happens to the street if the street has to cross the line? Yeah. Do you close the street? Do you keep it open? Is it going to be safe? So. There are, there are uh, any kind of question you can imagine comes You're up getting. in the course of it. But these pro and that's why one of the reasons these projects take a long time. Yeah. And, but I mean, more or less, we're, we're moving through, right? I mean, things yeah. are being well, taken steps through. Well, we, we are. We've been talking about this for years. Well, the last election's going to present some challenges because there are, there are some transit, uh, some folks who aren't real wild about transit and how much money it costs. So it's, uh, there'll be some challenges there. Yeah. But, but in the end, I think we all know how well Hiawatha works. And, yeah. and, we want to see it happen, and we don't need to be in our cars all the time, so no, we're going to try to figure that. it out. Yeah. So. And how much of this boils down to were we stupid for ripping it up the streetcars 50 years ago? Were we dumb for doing that? Well, that's even before I was alive, so yeah. probably, you know, that depends who you ask. It, different. I'm asking you. That's yeah, just I, you know, I, haven't done, I haven't done a lot of studying on, uh, of the, of the streetcars. Oh, it's on so, PBS you know. all the damn time. Yeah, well, you tune it in. I'm watching Channel 6, brother. Uh, yeah, so, okay, yeah. I understand. <laughs> that's not true. Uh, so uh, Viking Stadium, is that going to happen, you think? You know, that's a, that's the Minneapolis got, Vikings it, it got quiet here all of a sudden. Uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, I think it's it, eventually I think it'll happen whether or not we have any role in it. I think that's going to be awfully tough given what's what's on our plate these yeah. days. And we're playing a lot of defense with the programs we do. It, we think they're pretty important. Yeah, you're yeah, winning yeah, people yeah, there over with that. There nice. you, go. you didn't what fumble that question, <laughs> sir. <laughs> What's next, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so, okay, so what do you do after you're the chairman of the Hennepin County Board of Commissioners? Do you have future plans? Do you have loftier ambitions, Mike O'Pat? You know, I, I, uh, I think about that a lot these days. Um, I'm not sure that I do. I got to figure out. I got to figure out if I'll be electable after any, after this show. Yeah, for a while. You know, <laughs> hey, we uh, at least have 50 people here who will vote yeah, for it. All right, well, good. <laughs>
They, they, these people don't vote. They, they sound like a volunteer committee to me. Yeah, so, exactly. Know, Give I'm them gonna, some bumper stickers. Yeah, these people are going to be great. Let me stick around after and circulate that plan, see what people have to say about but, it. I, I don't mean, know what I'm going to do. You have the lengthiest uh, Wikipedia page out of anybody we've had on, and it says in the first paragraph, <laughs> Interested in, in impossible uh, gubernatorial uh, aspirations. Any truth there? You know, I, I think if the situation's right, I, yeah, I'd like to do. I'd like to do more. I, I think that's uh, that's going to be tough. It's because a cherry it's a, gig, though, man. It's, it's it's a lot of work. It's a year of your life. Uh, if you've got a family, it's well, a lot to of run away for, for the it, kids. Yeah. yeah, to run for it. And, and asking people for money is not my strong suit. So I'll have to win the lottery. I think to maybe to make okay. that happen. So. Um, and speaking of your family, who we got? How many kids you got? Three. 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 Uh, about to be six, eight, and ten. And I, I lose all the votes at home, so you know, there <laughs> and, you go. Uh, so I'm did, chasing around. How did you meet your wife? Let's hear the story. Uh, in jail, actually, met her in jail. <laughs> we, we were, it's, it's the truth. We were we were both working there, and uh, and the rest is history. So you're working. Work it. Well, yeah. All right. Oh, God, it sounds okay. so good. Yeah, you know, all right. Well, okay. No, okay. I won't take up too much of your time. Too much more. I have uh, one more question. This is important. I think a lot yeah. of people here are very curious about it. How bonkers is Michelle Bachman? <laughs> you know, uh, that's a good question. I don't. Thank you. Uh, uh, I think it's unfortunate that Minnesota appears behind her name every time we yeah. see it. So uh, that's. that's uh, I, I, I have. I, I we talked about this before. I, I did in the spirit of the show and knowing Jim. Uh, okay. Not wanting to compete with Jim, but I know he does haiku. I do have a haiku. Oh, really? I'll, 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 yeah, break, break, break it out. Do we have the music queued oh, up? Want, I think we got okay. a thumbs up all right, there. All right. All right, uh, whenever you're ready. Oh, you want to go right now? Yeah. All right, okay. Tea, tea, tea lovers hear her speaking windy, noisy blame with her charming smile. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. it's a, it's, it's, it's a, an amateur effort. I, no, that was awesome. Devour five seven five, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Haiku Jim. Yeah! Hey, thanks everybody. You know we got Opat here. He um, got the stadium built and he was instrumental in that. Uh, got reelected and now he's rubbing elbows with the DWI crew. I know. What right? a year, huh? It's pretty huge. But I do have a haiku for you today. You know, uh, we just are getting over a really busy uh, a travel period and. Um, uh, there was some uh, criticism at the airport about the new full body scan yeah. and the pat down regimen, yeah. and um, I do have a, a, my take on on that process. Oh, let's hear it, man. Goes like this, and Mike. By, by the way, don't um, leave the haiku to the professionals next time. <laughs> and, and my haiku goes. Oh, like there's this. a haiku battle about to go down. Airport body scan, fully felt up by strangers, but well worth the wait. Because if you're going to get fondled, what better time than the holidays, people? Thank you, TSA. All right. Um, are we ready? To, are we done? Is that it? No, it's not it. We, yeah. have, we have thrown together a short film, and we're doing something different than we used to do. Um, as opposed to us actually showing up and filming stuff, because that's a drag, we just gave uh, one of our head writers, Patrick Bauer, a camera and went, here, you have a day. Do something. We'll see how it turns out together. Hey, everybody, right now, it's a Dream with Ian handmade film. I bought a two last night. <gasps> Came with a gun rack. Oh, put it in my truck. Oh, cherry, nice. What'd you do last night? You called that bitch. Yeah, man, she wasn't expecting it. Give her fruit ball. Oh! Where'd you get the ball of fruit? Colin gave it to me. It was so sweet. 
me. I wasn't expecting it at all. And pomegranates like your favorite fruit. I know. And he also took me to the opera. Somebody got a keeper. Mm -hmm. I took her to see ACDC, man. This eluded me because I was the best. We went ice skating, mm -hmm. and when I got cold, he gave me his coat. Aww. He was such a gentleman. She came right away. Yeah! <laughs> oh, what an idiot. I showed up on time. I'm a f***ing animal, dude! I totally showed her who her daddy was. <laughs> <laughs> he reunited me with my father. F*** that bitch. I made her swallow it. <laughs> He went to a wine tasting, mm -hmm. and usually I just spit it out. But he was like, live a little. And the truth, I like that. Mm -hmm. That coat is f her in the ass. Oh. <laughs> we had vaginal sex. I wanted him to f up ass, but he said he respected me way too much for that. And he's so thoughtful. I know. I told her to kiss my ass goodbye. So, <laughs> you gonna call her, bro? Yeah, I'll call her. A whore. Oh, 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 oh. He called me twice today already. Oh. He's so sweet. He said I was gorgeous. Yeah, she's out of it. Hey, thanks for setting me up with your sister, bro. Anytime. Oh, check this out. Oh. Gentlemen. I take no responsibility for that film. This is done by our writer, Patrick Bauer. All right, enough of this. Now we're going to set up what I should have set up a while ago. Happening in the basement of Donnie Dirk Zombie Dead here in Bashful, North Minneapolis. Everybody, put your hands together for Hastings 3000! <laughs> Hey, 
Cherry, UV Green Apple, UV Ivory Vanilla, or UV Orange Vodka, UV Flavored Vodkas offer a premium product without the high price tag. Please visit UVVodka.com for additional information and recipes. No beer in the Midwest has a grander brewing tradition than Green Belt. For over 100 years, Green Belt has been the beer that fathers have passed on to sons and friends have passed amongst each other at local bars and watering holes. It is a beer with tradition that spans generations, which is why it has become legendary both here and across the country. Next time you go out, ask for a premium. EMI Audio, the Twin Cities' premier resource for DJs, bands, and drinking with Ian. Rentals, sales, installation, and repair of DJ gear, PA systems, and effect lighting. A family-owned business for over 35 years. Visit emiaudio.com for all your audio, video, and lighting needs. A portion of Drinking with Ian is sponsored by The Onion, America's finest news source, and The AV Club, bringing you reviews and commentary on the arts and entertainment scene. Available at newsstands throughout the Twin Cities and online at theonion.com and avclub.com. Pizza Luce proudly supports Drinking with Ian. Free delivery until 2.30 a.m. weekdays and 3.30 a.m. weekends. Download our menu at www.pizzaluce.com. Drinking with Ian is nothing without our sponsors. Please support them. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good job. Woo.